folks, welcome to bum f nowhere Fond du Lac, Wisconsin at this little, can't even really call that a creek, it's more like a ditch. But I have been here for the past like four or five days and caught fish here every day and good ones. So we're just going to give it a shot here today. Uh, I brought one box of jigs, one rod with a jig on it. This place has been really, really good. So we're gonna give it a shot here. I've only got about an hour or so before, well, maybe a couple hours before that sun goes down. Um, but we're gonna hopefully get out some fish here for you. Right here. Just gonna flip it right along where that water's coming out of there. Oh, he's got it, he's got it. There we go. Oh my God, it's a giant. No! Okay. So, for whatever reason, the fish here do not like to eat the jig all the way. For whatever reason, they will they'll eat it halfway, and you set the hook, and they're gone. Um, I don't really know how to remedy that. I'm using, like, the smallest possible trailer. I tried using a wacky, like, a, a weighted wacky worm. That didn't work. That was a big one. That was a big, big, big one. That was like four pounds. All right, nothing to do. Keep going. That was first cast too. Kind of seems like they're hugged up super close to the bank. Also had them bite like out in the middle too. Water's definitely a little clearer than it has been. I don't know if that's really a good thing or a bad thing. The only thing I might think of that that means is they might not be super hugged up to the bank. Oh, 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 big and just grabbed it. Big and just grabbed it. No, 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 no. Did you see that? It came off from the bank. No. I only well, we missed two so far. Jeez. I don't know how these fish don't commit to a jig. Like, you would think that if any lure would get these fish to commit and just engulf it, it would be a jig. And they just don't. Like, they're so hesitant. This whole stretch looks so good. These overhanging branches, deep cut bank here lined with rock. Oof. And I'm not sure why this like, it's like three or four like little areas they really stick to. I mean, one of them's this discharge over here and that's obvious, but like under the tree, just random little spots on the bank that usually produce Oh, one's running with it. There we go. We gotta run down here and get him. Oh, it's a good one, dude. Yes. Going real light on him. Oh my God, so he's barely hooked. Come on. Oh jeez, come on. All right, come on. Yes! Look at that fish! Ooh! Yeah! <laughs> Look how decent that fish is! See, now that one, that one wasn't going anywhere. <laughs> yes! Big old post spawner. Oh, there is a hook in his mouth. Look at that. There's a hook in his mouth. Oh man. Dude. All right, anglers and fun like you can't be leaving your hooks in fish's mouth like that. That's bad. Come on. I could get it. You probably broke it off, but jeez, nice two and a half, close to three. Gotta be, yes sir. There it goes. Nice. All right. See that we can work with, but even then, I let him eat it for a good like. 
six, yeah, maybe not six seconds, but like at least three or four seconds before I set the hook, and it still wasn't like down his throat. Like it was still like right on the edge of his mouth. I haven't gotten bit too much on that bank. It's mostly been this area right in front of this discharge here that it seems like it keeps reloading with fish. I have had one fish over there in the past couple days. Um, so they, I mean, they're definitely over there. It's just kind of a thing where they, they'll definitely gravitate towards the outflowing water here. You can kind of see, I don't exactly know where this is coming from because it's coming up from underneath but it's definitely clear water and then it goes into this dirty and it mixes it up and I think they sit right on the edge of that water break. Oh boy, I ain't kidding. So, I don't know if anybody fishes tournaments on Lake Winnebago, this is, I mean, not that this is accessible. Um, oh, I just got bit again. Yeah, he's on there, he's on there. No! Oh, no way, dude. You're joking me. Out in the middle, too. That was right in the middle. If anybody else likes to listen to music while you go fishing, like I do, I got a... Man, have I got an artist that I vibe with heavy on fishing trips. Uh, call me charisma. What's actually funny is uh, Sam Soviet uh, is actually good friends with him and uh, he's got a video of him fishing with him up on his channel. I'll link that in the description. Um, but I'm not, I'm not friends with them or anything, not sponsored by him or nothing. Um, but I just really, really like his music. What's really cool too is I don't, I don't know if this is man-made or not. Um, I don't think so, but I mean, the bridge obviously isn't all this rock wasn't here. Um, however, it drops off really, really steep, like right there, like from right there all the way, like into the middle, it drops off into like oh yep go oh, another good one oh no he spit it oh that's what sucks about fishing up on a bridge you gotta let out line all the way down all right well we're one for four now yikes yikes not a very secret spot after coming here i came here yesterday and there were a couple guys fishing down here I've had some people talk to me when they're just walking past, say that they've caught fish down here. It's a community hole from, from what I've found out. Well, I'm gonna try something. I think maybe the reason they're not engulfing it is maybe it's too finesse. Like maybe, maybe they need something a little bit more big. Something more big, <laughs> bigger been here for half an hour and how many fish have we had we've had okay i lost that one right away i just lost one there caught that one and then missed two so i've had five legit bites <laughs> wow five bites in half an hour god damn get that pack of Guggen baits cracking craw oh oh i mean uh, uh rage rage craws um <laughs> Sorry, what that mean? That little screw lock jig. All right, there we go. That is the dealio. Gonna try that for a little bit. So basically, the I mean, you can see the difference. One's got a much smaller trailer. Um, one has a much bigger trailer, obviously, and then one is black and blue. The other one's like this green pumpkin blue color. Um, and then one trailer has these big flapping craw things, and then the other one has these very small, um, very small tails that have almost no action whatsoever whereas the one before it has very 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 defined like paddles on the craw um, and one's going to be a lot easier to see in the water because it has red flakes in the green pumpkin and a very shiny black and blue skirt 
and then the other one has this very kind of kind of metallic feel. I just got honked at. I don't know who that was, um, but this very metallic blue with uh, green pumpkin. So I'll try that out for a little bit. I have no idea who that was that I just got honked at by, but shout out to whoever that was. <laughs> Oh, yep, 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 yep. Eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it. No! Golly! I might have waited too long there. I was going to pull up behind you and hit the horn again. I know, that scared the <laughs> shit out of me the other day. <laughs> was that you on the moped? Some kid on a moped just like went by and honked at me. <laughs> I was like, I have no idea who you are, but cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, All right. I don't know. Good to see you. See you later. Oh, yeah. That was Mr. Corey Krupp in his son, Dakota, who I fished that Green Lake tournament with. The other day I was fishing here, and he come up in his van, slowed down real quiet, jammed his horn right behind me. I about fell into the creek. Sketch, 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 sketch. Tighten the tension down. Skip. That sucked. And loosen the tension when you start reeling it. It'd be a good lesson on skipping right now. And I'm dragging it like that. I'm really bouncing it. Like I am moving that bait a lot. And it's just making those claws go nuts. So when you're gonna skip, you want tension tighten the tension down a lot where you to the point where you actually have to pull it out. So it's barely coming out right now. See that? Then skip it under there, and then when you reel, although when you reel now, it's gonna feel hard. So, what I do after that, I just loosen the tension out a little bit, and that's it. Oh, oh, big one just hit it. No, 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 get out of the tree, get out of the tree. Come on, come on. Oh, big, big one just hit it. That was that felt big, dude. Oh, no, rock, more rock in the middle. There we go. That's a good one. Oh, no! How? Dude. Dude, that looks like the same, that looked like the same fish I lost over there. Golly, that fish hit it hard. Come on, this place, this spot's got one more bite in it. I can feel it. One more fish. Oh, yep. Oh my God, I just said it's a good one too. Biggin, biggin, like actual biggin. Come here. Yeah! Yes! Oh my god, I don't even care who heard me scream like that. Holy sh- I literally just called it. That's a three pounder all freaking day. Look at how far down that jig was. Look at that. Into his eye socket. Dang, dude. That sucks, but glad he got hooked at least. Yes! There we go. Dude, are you freaking kidding me? Okay, he has been caught before. Right there. But this is one of the few fish that I've seen that has been caught. I got bad suns pumping in my ears. That Wisconsin sunset has just happened behind me. And that is a gorgeous, gorgeous fish. Look, he's got a bloody tail still from spawning, I'm assuming. But that is a gorgeous, like three pound Wisconsin largemouth. Unreal. Second fish here, but we've missed so many. And I think it's a lot of it was me. I just didn't set the hook hard enough. Didn't. They weren't eating it maybe, but I don't know. I don't care. This fish made every single thing worth it. That's awesome, guys. There it goes. <laughs> yes, 
Yes! That fish absolutely wrecked the jig. <laughs> All right, with that, I'm gonna start walking home. Thank you guys so much for tuning in for that short little mission. That's so much fun filming just like tiny little ex ex expeditions like that, I guess you wanna call them, but you know, just a little, take a little hike from the house down to a little creek that I literally did not know existed this close to where I live. That's so, so cool to figure that out. Discover a new body of water completely on your own. Um, and even though this one ended up to be a little bit of a community hole, it is still cool. There are gnats everywhere. Unreal, unreal. Look at all that. All those gnats. Un that's crazy. So <laughs> I'm gonna put the camera away. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, and this is actually the first video that I'm filming right now after I just reached 5,000 subscribers. So I do wanna give you guys a huge thank you. Um, and that's, <laughs> Like it doesn't sound like a big milestone to some people, but to me that means a hell of a lot. So thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you on the next episode of Wisconsin Fishing and Outdoors. Peace.